And your report claims the Ayatollah regime is training an elite Taliban force to inflict maximum casualties to U.S. troops in Afghanistan. One America's Christian Rose has all the details. The Ayatollah regime in Iran extends its support for Islamic terror activity in the Middle East by providing weapons and special forces training to Taliban jihadists. This according to a report from the UK's main newspaper, The Times, that claims Iran has welcomed hundreds of Taliban fighters to prepare them for a lengthy war of attrition against the US. And top US officials are acutely aware of that. Iran must end its threatening behavior against its neighbors, many of whom are US allies. Iran too must end support for the Taliban and other terrorists in Afghanistan and the region and cease harboring senior al-Qaeda leaders. The Times stressed the training process is unprecedented in scale, quality and length as the Ayatollah regime is preparing Taliban's best fighters to undertake attacks specifically against US military personnel and installations in Afghanistan. Iranian officials are aware they are dealing with one of the world's best standing armies and therefore are implementing the most advanced techniques in the training process, including the use of unconventional tactics of the so-called hybrid warfare. The Times also said Iran is arming the Taliban with the weapons it bought from Russia, a claim categorically denied by the Kremlin. The accusations that we have been arming the Taliban are absolutely unacceptable. As to the accusations that we are in favor of a dialogue with the Taliban, let me remind you, it was the Barack Obama administration that set up contacts with the Taliban secretly and discreetly. The report initially raised some eyebrows as the Islamic Republic Republic of Iran practices Shia Islam and is supposedly at odds with the mostly Sunni Taliban terrorists. Additionally, Iran's arch enemy Saudi Arabia has reportedly supported the Taliban since as early as the 1980s, when the US sought to undermine the Soviet presence in Afghanistan. This time around, Iran is using the same tactic against the US, seeking to hurt America any way it possibly can in the face of an impending oil embargo. The first part of our sanctions will snap back on August 4th. These sanctions will include targeting Iran's automotive sector, trade in gold, and other key metals. Our remaining sanctions will snap back on November 6th. These sanctions will include targeting Iran's energy sector and petroleum-related transactions and transactions with the Central Bank of Iran. According to a top Taliban official, as quoted by the Times, Iran's regional strategy is based off two fundamental principles. The first is to hurt the American and NATO interests in the region by using any means necessary with an ultimate goal of destroying Israel, known as a key US ally. The second aspect focuses on countering the Islamic State and its alleged sponsors, who all practice Sunni Islam, a heresy from the Iranian standpoint, while keeping other Sunni forces, such as Taliban, either in check or under control. It is in no way acceptable that a man who had been working in a spy center for years and has now become the U.S. Secretary of State start telling Iran what to do. This is ridiculous and is a joke. Who are you to decide for Iran and the world? While some U.S. officials have long suspected Iran, Russia and Pakistan of supporting the Taliban, these three countries have all maintained such a support is limited and is only provided as long as the Taliban is helping counter the Islamic State. Meantime, the recent escalation in U.S.-Iranian tensions could produce a new wave of Islamic terror in the Middle East and beyond. Christian Rose, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.